I was in a master bedroom of an apartment complex and I had a roommate and I was like, I can't like be alone like this. Like I have money. I have a house. I like I, I, I need a girl. So I looked up to the ceiling and I prayed to God for some coochie. I said, God, please <laughs> send me like a crumb, just a, a little bit coochie of that crumb. Panetti. Yes. And he did. <laughs> he did. And this was literally, I would say, the most devastating four days of my life. What? I, so, four days? No, she lived with me. So this is this is what happened. Okay. I prayed for the coochie. Uh-huh. That same night, we had a phone call from about 9 p.m. to about 6 o'clock the next morning. Uh-huh. We were supposed to collab at 3. We didn't collab because I overslept. Mm. She hit me up at 7 and said she had a Wiz Khalifa shoot um, that she was going to go to um, and come back to. And she had, like, a bunch of missed calls. She hit up my roommate. Like, literally, everybody was, like, trying to find me. I was sleeping in my room. And I was like, oh, dang, I'm sorry I missed it. And she was like, no, it's fine. I can come now. So she came to my house around 8, 9, and I did not have any type of idea of what we were going to do or what was going to happen. So then I just thought of like a quick idea, video idea. We uh, made it, ended up going viral. Same day, I was happy, she was happy, but it went viral on my page, so she wasn't as happy. And that should have been like a, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You tagged her, right? Most definitely. So, (laughs) um... Uh, this is where things got wild, right? So that night, she tells me she has nowhere to stay, nowhere to go, and she has to drive like an hour and a half back to her place. She would rather sleep at my place. And I'm like, I right, bet. So I get her a pillow, get her a blanket, and I lay her out on the sofa because I'm thinking there's no way this chick so fucking beautiful is going to like me or going to want to talk to me. Uh, I go lay in my bed. I, I look up to God, and I'm saying, bro, if you real, do something slick tonight. Like, please. I woke up to condolingus. What is that? Her giving me head. <laughs> no, it was it was a, it was a whole trap. The very next day, we shot a whole um, shoot day, and it was also her birthday. That night, she slept with my roommate. Wait, what? Yes. Oh, the, well, very, pause, pause, pause. the very next day, um, she I am full of anxiety, a lot of fear. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. I am scared of the fucking world. Um, and honestly, I would say I would say it's mostly my fault she did that because I kind of what was it? She had asked me to um, be inside of a threesome with my like with my roommate and i was i at first i was like i don't i don't know how i feel about this and i was hoping i was hoping like my roommate would be like nah i ain't trying to do that you know saying that's your girl like you know saying like i I was just hoping i don't know like i I guess that was like (sighs) i wanted to say no but i didn't want her to think i was the bad guy so i wanted him to be the bad guy wow but everybody was like into the situation and i was like <laughs> they were too uh, into it yeah that's so, what i'm saying <laughs> they were like, oh, too into no, it no don't be into it no and i was like i was like so we was laying in bed and she was like oh well if we're not gonna do a threesome i can just go in there and i thought she was bullshitting so i was like fuck it do it do it you know what i'm saying and she did it and then the next day i legit was like hey i know you're staying inside a hotel you can move inside of my house Yes, you know what I'm saying? So That's she moved. She, exactly, yeah, I know. I definitely shouldn't have did that. Aww. But I thought it was my fault that everything, which it was. So I was like, Why let was me fix this situation. I told her to do it. Okay, but it's just common decency and common courtesy and respect. Um, this is an adult woman, right? Yeah, like, this okay, is an adult so this woman. Is a, so she is responsible for her actions. And I feel like she knew what she was doing. So if you offered her i mean the roommate didn't offer her anything Hmm. she just gave him free coochie for nothing like he he, honestly he didn't offer her anything like (laughs) she came to your house and like you gave her a place to stay you did content with her went viral which whether she liked it or not she benefited from that because she was in in part of it you know what i mean so like the fact that she already put her moves on you she already chose you and i always say that i was an easy target honestly i feel like if you were to look for a mark I had like a, a red fucking like Well, you're not that way face. anymore, Dunlop. Yeah, I know, I know. You're not, not that way anymore. anymore. But my thing is like, she, you know, it's disrespectful to be in someone's house to lead them on the way she did, giving you head all of that the first night and the very next night going with your roommate and thinking it's okay and then asking you for a threesome and all these things. Obviously, boundaries needed to be in place and need to be better. But also- I would say this is something that I didn't notice and we didn't notice like over the course of like time because she was with me for like another four months and it was bad. Yeah, it was bad. It was not good. But I feel like there was I feel like there was um, mental illness that was definitely coming from that side. And 
it's wild because it kind of continued and low key, high key, her mom, like I met her mom and her mom was just surprised. She was with somebody like me. Like she was, she was all the way out of the way. Like this is the most ridiculous thing in the world. And old girl legit had a whole victim mentality. Like she showed me like um, her ex, all the stuff that she had, the pending cases. Like it was so much that like she told me and I was like, I want to save you. I was Captain save a hoe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's not the, that's not the way to go. Yeah. It is not. I understand that i just feel like because i you know i i've struggled with that saving a little hoes. bit of yeah with saving people oh my gosh i'm the mom of my friend group i'm always trying to mother somebody especially mother somebody's son this is why i have like different stand like higher standards and requirements for who i date because i cannot become another broke boy's mother i just mm. can't do that because it's just too much it takes too much of a toll on me like spiritually mentally physically it's just too much it's too much of pulling from like my spirit my body and all of that i just right, I right, can't right, do right. that um so i definitely understand you like, sure though i'm not gonna lie there's a lot of beautiful body to pull from a john moss you see, you see, this, this is, this is why Hands. <laughs> John Moss, honestly, we just have, we want different things, right? Exactly. We yes. want different things. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. That's totally fine. So okay. I'm a, I'm probably known on social media for being homeless. So I'm like legit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The epitome of the person she doesn't want to be I with. did not slide into his DMs when he was homeless. I slid into his DMs when he has a house in Los Angeles. I'm just saying, like, that's when I slid in the DMs. For the record. All right, all right, I'll see you, I'll see you. Yeah, exactly. That's it. No, because oh. you got to a point where you said she wa she stayed with you for four months. Yes. What happened after the four months? Oh, man. Um, I bought her outfits, uh, pretty much like paid for trips, paid for dinners, food. Almost every single morning, I would get her an ICE bowl, which was like $12. And then I'd be like, I would want one too. You know what I'm saying? So like add that up for like four months. Um, dinner, uh, like any, literally... I was like, I felt like that was just God being like, hey, man, you don't want this. You want a loving relationship. But if you ask for coochie, you can get just that. Like, that's what you're supposed to get from here. You're not supposed to get a relationship. You're not supposed to move her inside of your house. You're not supposed to buy all this stuff for you. Like, literally, it uh, messed up my workflow because she wouldn't wake up before uh, 12 o'clock. So I would have to, like, tiptoe around the house. And then, oh, my God, she did um, OF. She did, yeah, she did OF. Only so, fans? Yes. O OF is only fans. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So she would, like, be in the living room while we would have, like, company over, and they would open the door, and she would be butt-ass naked. Wait, and, what? She was bro, doing this in yo, the living room? in the living room, because it had the best lighting. That was, that was her thing. So I, we're sitting there like, hell no, nah, bro. Like, my roommate, so I had so much animosity for my roommate because of that situation. Yeah. That I I just didn't know how to talk to him. I didn't know how to talk to anybody. I was well, like, why, like, wh wh I mean, were you guys close before you became roommates? Oh yeah, or? no, yeah, it was okay, pretty. So, it was so right. you didn't ha have a private conversation with him. Like, I'm not comfortable with this situation, or you know, back then I didn't know how to uh, really voice my feelings. You know what I'm saying? So it's like how I'm able to communicate now is different than like years ago because it's like if I was mad at you, I just wouldn't say anything. I just wouldn't look at you, or I would do like a mean face. And then you'll be like, what's going on? But like most of the time I didn't have my glasses. So then I'd be like, oh, bro, I can't even see. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I would bitch out of the mean face too. Like I just didn't want problems. But now it's like um, it caused more problems because I would code this animosity without ever talking about it. Wow. Yeah. So when, when, she, when how did you get her out of your house? <laughs> Whoa. So, how did you get her out? So, oh, man. Um, so I started to I started to go around the country and I learned how to have intercourse really well like no for real though I like I hooked up with um a couple of P stars um I went to New York I went to Kentucky I went to Miami corn like, stars yes 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 man I went to Miami and like all over the place learned how to do cunnilingus it's really really good learned how to like use my fingers use my hands touch bodies use vocal like moan like hey, that, that was that was not me moaning I so thought you, about you were doing basically it. an OF star with them no but I I learned how to um, I learned how to, um, you know, what I'm saying pleasure a woman because in my head, I thought, oh, me getting off was good enough, which is amazing. You know, what I'm saying, you know, what I'm saying, uh, but let me get you off multiple times. It's a whole different mindset. It's a whole different thing. Right. So then I was like, OK, this is what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to have intercourse with her one last time, good as hell, for the best of my ability, and then never do it again. Like dump her. Mm Mm-hmm. So you did that. That's what I didn't dump her, but I was like, yeah. Afterwards, like like dead ass, before we even like got done, I pulled out without even finishing. Was like, you know, I don't even want to do this no more. This is ass. Like after she came, like I want to say four times, four or five times, I was like, yeah, this is just bad. And she, what, what? Like you could tell, like you could tell, she was like, what are you talking about? Like what? If anybody wants me, you want me. And I was like, nah. I'm going to go to sleep. And I just turned over and just went to sleep. And she was like, hey. Uh, uh. And then the next morning, she was like, oh, hey. I was like, nah, I just ignored her. I, tra- I started to treat her how she treated me. Yeah. So do you feel like that was like a turning point in having boundaries for future relationships? Most future definitely. Friendships? Most definitely. Good. Oh, my gosh. Like, when I tell you, it was bad. Like, she legit uh, left my house. Started to go to Tinder dates, like, all the time. Called an STD. Told a mutual friend that I gave it to her. I got tested. I didn't give it to her. She caught it from somebody else and blamed me. And I'm sitting here like, bitch, you trifling. That's that's trifling. That's trifling. But it's just, like, it's in the past. It's in the past. Okay. Well, I mean, thank you for being so detailed (laughs) and vulnerable with us to um, uh, on the podcast today, John Moss. Because, like, yeah. I appreciate that. No problem. Because if it's meant to be, then it'll be a love song.